I would say first, first things first, watch a ton of YouTube content. Look for free, free content first. And if you are going to invest in guidance from somebody, do your research on that person because there is a lot of people out there who say they sell on Amazon when really they just sell courses of how to sell on Amazon and they have no idea what they're doing. Definitely encourage everybody, exchange numbers. Like the more people you know in this industry, the better it is, right? Like we learn so much from building relationships with other resellers. I can't even tell you the amount of secrets and tips and tricks that we've been giving just from attending events like this. It's really allowed our business to grow. And when we started, you know, seven years ago, it's, people didn't do this, you know, there wasn't, to get, what is there, 10 of us here now? There's more on their way? Yeah. There, there, it didn't happen. Tell me everybody doesn't know Humble Ted already. You didn't get a chance to be Humble Ted. A bunch of great guys yeah, yeah. So Humble Ted, he manages all our finances. This guy's a finance guru. Yes. Right, Ted? Give him his own Instagram. I'm Humble Ted, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Shu, who's gonna go first? Peter. Yeah, so what was your name? David. David asked, how do we find our large wholesalers? So we attend trade shows all over the country, all, the all over the world as well. Sebastian's been to China. Uh, we, we go to, we're going to Anaheim in a couple months, Vegas, everywhere, Nashville. We travel the country attending trade shows because that's where these large wholesalers and, trade sh and, uh, and distributors convene. It's like the place where like, if you want to be a teacher, you go to a teacher's convention. If you want to find wholesalers and distributors, you go to a trade show. And then Google, Google as well. Go ahead. Um, it's, so it's based on profit, so I don't mind bringing on something, let's say a grocery product rate 200000 or 200000 if I'm making 15 bucks on it, because then I could drop price and increase rank, you know? But we don't have, I know a lot of people, they're like, I don't buy toys and games unless they're under 50000 It's like, why am I going to limit my growth opportunity? What if there's a great product that's one hundred twenty thousand? I'm making 30 bucks on it. I'm bringing that shit on. So her question, what was your name? Kezi? Leslie. Leslie. She asked, yeah, is it optimal to have two separate accounts, um, different LLCs for private label and for wholesale? Uh, we personally do not, and it was kind of what Sebastian was talking about before. It's like, I want, what makes a large and successful Amazon business is reviews and customer feedback. If you could sell all of your products under one account, your chances of getting more reviews and more customer feedback and growing a large Amazon business are much higher. <laughs> Put it simply, don't be cheap with your employees. If they need new tape guns, if they need new, new tape dispensers, if they need the new label guns, get them for them. It, it, we found 100%, it never fails. It's scary when you bring somebody from 10 to 15 or 15 to 20 dollars an hour or offer these bonuses which might cost a company twenty thousand dollars at the end of the month if they hit their numbers but if you take care of them they take care of you tenfold they come to work motivated they want to grow your business you know we don't say they work for us we say they work with us that's the key absolutely